Greetings, and welcome to my channel. This is Sorcerer Tell. You can also find me on Facebook in the Sorcerer's Guild. Today we're going to be doing an update on Odell. As you can see, he has grown quite a bit. There's a lot of, uh, I like to think of them as horns on top there. His face has uh, grown in quite nicely. Got a bit of a tail there in the back. And even a little bit going on next to the one eye there. That doesn't look like it's going to go much farther. Now, as I've mentioned in previous update, like I mentioned in the previous update in the comments, there is now quite a bit of Daphnia life in the water below him because that has been transferred over from the servitor tanks. Um, this is a servitor tank that I have brought with me for the moment. My home, my other altar hasn't been taken down. Everything's still working over there, like with the hope grows in the garden and all that. But I have brought some of it with me and see if I to see if I can link one altar to the other through this sigil here. So in a way, this is still part of my same altar. It's just in a separate location, perhaps. Of course, that is a snake for Asphoras, the guild egregore, the cosmic serpent. And there's my personal sigil, as well as my candle of Eshu, and a butterfly necklace, for because that's my tote, one of my totems is the butterfly. This stuff here, you will be seeing in other videos very soon. That's, uh, of course, a machete. A cannonball. A baseball bat. Well, that you won't be seeing so much, because that's not in those. But with the exercise videos that I'm going to be doing soon, you're going to be seeing all three of those used rather than typical weights. They, 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 have, they weigh different amounts, and we'll be swinging them to create dynamic muscle memory. And then we've got the cannonball there, and that actually you just, well, we hold it like this. If you can't get a cannonball, I mean, some of this other stuff, you can get, you know, a wooden baseball bat and then maybe a heavier baseball bat and then a smaller one. Because, uh, believe it or not, out of the three, that machete is actually the lightest. But the uh, cannonball, if you can't get one of these, a barbell will work. But there's a lot more hand strength in holding the ball like this rather than just uh, gripping a dumbbell. I'll have to weigh it for the videos if you guys want to try and get the same weight as me. But depending on your size, you may want to go heavier or lighter than what I choose. Okay, and we'll be working on that later. And the sorcery defense self sorcery self defense series as we get into the exercises, and haven't decided quite how far I'll go with that. Now, if you remember, in another video recently, we cut all these pieces of wild rosewood. Well, yeah, I showed you. I sh you seen me cut the first few. I've been busy since then, of course, and I have cut enough for the alphabet, like I discussed. We're going to put. The, uh, well, you can't really, it's almost too bright. You can't really see the coloration of it. Okay, well, anyways, there you can see it there, kind of. These are actually got a darker color in the center than the middle because they're wild rosewood. These are the ones I haven't sanded yet. Um, I've been doing them in bursts of A, B, C, D, and then we did, so we've done A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, and we'll do that through the whole thing because, you know, there's natural pauses. In our letters already. So there's the Red Hammer Sorel and Sister Shiv. It's two of my working items. It's another one of the gourds that I did bring with me. This one's being enchanted that so that I can actually start growing it here. Coming up this way, we've got my pouches that I have for good luck and different things like that. This one has my sigil on it. A lot of this I can't entirely discuss what's in there. There's the necklace that you've seen me wear in the past with Eshu on there as well. The key to represent grandmother. And this is Manitelu that I am working on. Now, you've heard about him before too, yeah? He's the one that uh, wandered off back in the day. Well, recently, I don't know what happened to the uh, marionette he was in before, because we haven't finished this one for me and him to have that in-depth in of a conversation yet. But once I am, the spirit himself has returned to me. And so I'm making him a new marionette. Hopefully he doesn't wander off. Even if he does, apparently he will come back eventually. 
with body or without. So keep doing that. And then over here we've got an enchantment device that I'm working on with a horde member known as, oh my gosh. <laughs> and over here we have a, uh, I can't believe I forgot Grax's name. So over here we have Manitelio, hopefully he won't wander off again. Um, but apparently he comes back with or without his body. There's a, can, a key to represent grandmother that's actually from her altar, from her shrine that I have in my altar at home. And then we'll come over here, get a better look at this. This is actually some really beautiful wood. This thing is all red wood and burl wood. It's extremely heavy. Well, not extremely heavy. I mean, I can hold it in one hand. But it is definitely the heaviest of the three. It's very pretty wood. You've seen this in videos, other vid previous videos as well. This is what I uh, broke the gourd with in, in the uh, great left video. Yeah, after I explained let off a couple fireworks and I came and I smacked it with this if you recall that video this is really pretty wood okay let's put that back see if I can put it back one-handed without making it fall there we are okay so there's Manitelio key issues necklace and over here we have an enchantment device that I have been working on with Grax, one of the Horde members. A spear made out of that same rosewood from that wild rose bush that got t cut down by the city. Like I said, I don't really recommend just walking around damaging wild rose bushes. You never know what kind of fairy creature you're going to make, you're going to anger. But if they've been cut down, no point in not a. Uh, using the wood yeah I mean it's beautiful and extremely strong wood and this is a rosewood spear how could one not want a rosewood spear and of course my dream staff made out of that same rosewood and then coming up here brought the s1 sigil with me we've also got one of my enchantment mirrors shining a light right into it and a uh, mask that I'm going to be working on to make a protection spell in as well. That's why there's a... I took that under. But that's why there's a mask in there. Because that's part of what it's going to be protecting with. Yeah, the mask. And it's got... You know. Well, you get it. There's another ma a COVID plague mask or whatever behind there. To help with that. It's a Austrian crystal cube wrapped in copper downward striking pentacle at the bottom and then you put what you're wanting to enchant down in here it kind of works like a radionics device so I'll put like a sigil that I want down in here but then I put the sample down in the bottom and it enchants down into it draws the energy down in with the descending pentacle okay I think I showed you these already, but look, the ones that are sanded, you can see a lot better. See how they're a different color in the center? They are going to be really pretty wood as well once I have sanded them down and polished them and shined them up and everything. Okay, so let's see. Have we missed anything? There's Odell. The, candle, the uh, skull candle is for grandmother as well. Felt it was important she be represented twice. She does, well, a lot of people can't really work with Grandmother or Santa Sima Muerta unless she is completely on her own. But, <sighs> now we're going to take that out too. Okay, so we'll just show back over here again. There's Ass for Ass. That particular, this particular painting of Ass for Ass was actually done by one of the guild admins, Travis Rasm Rasmussen, or the Wizard of Ogden. There's a signature there. 
he gave this to me after we had that uh, drawing contest. Because, well, well, he gave this to me after we was af after the drawing contest. I really appreciate it. Thank you again, Travis. It looks freaking awesome. Okay, so that would be it for this episode. Thank you once again for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take the opportunity to do so now. Until next time, bright blessings and an interesting fate. This has been Sorcerer Tal.